So Reillusion is finally releasing the import for FBX Alumbic import. So it'll make it easier for you to design clothes and get the movement right from Marvelous Designer. So I'm going to show you guys just how you set it up. So you're going to start with your character from um, Character Creator and send them over to iClone. And I have my character set right here. And you're gonna be in the you're gonna go to the animation window to save your clip of animation. But this isn't where we're gonna start because I don't actually like working in the animation window. So we're gonna go to workspace standard front view. And I like to go in to my motions and do because the marvelous designer works better with a poses and t poses so i like to go in and start with whatever pose i'm going to be modeling my outfit in and maybe i'll do a cape so i'll go with a pose and i'll go to like frame 100 in an A pose, and then change to a walking clip, and then I'll do like a flying clip. Let's load her custom walk, slow the speed down to 60, record. Alright, that's enough. And then one of these flying animations that I got from Unreal. I'm gonna use a takeoff. Yeah, that works. So now you're going to go to workspace, animation, take this, go from here, shift, select, slide down. Select Merge Clips. Then you're going to play just to make sure it all looks how you want it to look. Looks good. So now you're just going to save it. Save clip. Walk fly. As you can see, I practiced this before I did this. Then you're going to go back to character creator. Go to poses. Your templates. Motions. A pose. File, export, FBX. Hopefully they update these options to have one for Marvelous Designer, but I always just use the Maya. Mesh and motions. You can leave all this as is. Where it comes to include motion, you're gonna click custom, open, Go down to where you saved your motion and add it. And I normally just leave these blank.
and you can choose this will export your motion into a different folder and then you can add it into Marvelous Designer. But I normally just leave these blank and import everything as it is. So you're going to export. Go to your options that one. After it exports, you're going to open Marvelous Designer. Import. Oh. And as you can see, I've already done this a few times. So you're going to import FBX. Let me just be sure. Import FBX. And there's a way you can fix your textures. You can able them and then come back in and put them in, but they don't matter now. So we'll come back and create an outfit to show you how it actually looks later. But if you go to the animation, click play. You see your character was exported with the animation and the clothes that you create once you click this record button here, which will be in the full tutorial, you'll be able to record the close animation with the animation that you set up and exported from iClone and then import back into iClone and Character Creator with the new update for iClone 7.9 whenever they decide to release that because you know they take years to release updates how long do we have to wait to get an update for um the appearance editor after they release character creator 3 what like two two years i think yeah so who knows when they'll release this but they've already announced that it's going to be with iclone 7.9 update what iclone are we dealing with now i don't even know I'm not sure. Let's see. This is version. Okay, this is version 7.83. So version 9 should be coming along the pipeline pretty soon, hopefully. But yeah, that's how you export so you can get your motions with 
marvelous designer so you can get the um, geometry of your and physics and collision of your garments better can't wait till they actually add it to the software thanks